us homework and we're going to do B and C together. Okay? Actually, I want to start with C. We might do another one. I don't want to do B. Okay, so last Wednesday, it's been a long time because we had conferences, all right? But last Wednesday, we talked about how we're going to need four columns or four sections. And I don't want you to write these headings, and you don't even have to draw the columns. But it's going to be estimate, which estimate is just finding the number I start with. Okay? Then guess and check. Okay? Solve. And then check with multiplication. Okay? These are the four things we have to do. If I had to say one of them was the most important, except for solving, it's probably going to be guess and check over here, and it's what kids keep skipping. Okay? So we're going to start with C. So let's write down 700 divided by 21. Everybody write it. Don't wait for me to say write it. Could you just stay with me, okay? All right. Now, the next thing I want to do is I want to look at the first two numbers of the dividend. Can I make 21 groups out of 70? Yes. Totally. Okay, so that means I'm putting a box around that. Now I only have to skip count to 70. What do you want to skip count by? 21. Totally. Okay, now here's what I want to do. I know I'm going to need two of these. You know how I know it? Because I put a box around the first two numbers, so I know I'm bringing the zero down. So go ahead and put two on those, and you guys don't want to round this, do you? No. Okay. So I'm going to skip count by 21s. Does anyone remember? Okay, I'm going to stop there because I don't have any more room. You might have had room to go to 84. So which number here is closest to 70 without? Okay. So what am I going to try in my guess and check? And I don't have to write it down, but I am. Because this is going to help me later when I get to um, checking with multiplication. Okay? So I am going to write it down, even though I don't have to. And then where do I write the three? Very good. And I'm going to subtract. And what do I get? Seven. Okay? Is 7 less than 21? Yes. Bring down my 0. Now this is where kids are making it harder than it is. Is there any rule that says I can't do the same thing again? No. There's not. So I know that 63 is going to work for 70 because I just did it, so I'm going to use it again. All right. So now... Remainder seven. Here's what we're forgetting. I want this really light. We're forgetting that our check with multiplication looks different now. Our check with multiplication is turtle head multiplication because it's two digit by two digits. So everyone write this down. My three kind of looks like an eight, but you know it's a three, don't you? Yep. Now, this is really cool. If I did guess and check over here, I'm going to be able to use that when I multiply. It's nice, isn't it? Plus, do you remember you can see it over here? Mm -hmm. Okay. So now, X's and O's, and I'm use my guess and check again. What do I have left to do? Add the, add the remainder. And remember I told you my fifth grade teacher wanted us to put an R there? To make sure we added our remainder. That's optional for you. I saw some kids doing it. And then if I end up with the dividend I started with, chances are I did this correctly. Okay? 
The only thing different than lesson 21, which was so easy for us, is we're starting with two digits instead of three. That's it. Let's go down and do E. The main reason is because I don't have room to write on D. Do you? No. I know. Okay, so let's do E. And then we're going to go over and do some on the problem set. Okay, so 820 divided by 42. Can I use that 82? Yes. So that means I'm going to, whoops, I'm still on pink. Whoops, I'm still on pink. I think we're on blue now. I'm going to need two of these. Okay. And can I skip count by 42? No. Why not? Yeah, because the two will go up by another two, which equals four. And then you can't do that. So let's skip count by 42s. That'll make this easier. Quit tapping, please. Trust me. What's next? No? 126, right? Okay. So which number is closest to 82? 42. 42. Now, so that means I'm going to try a 1. Now, here's what kids do. They get over here, they put a 1 there, and they forget what they're doing. So 1 times what number? 42. And that's going to give me 40. Now, here's something interesting. Could I go ahead and write this down yes. if it helps me? Yes. No problem. Okay? If that helps you, write it down. Okay, Houston, we have a problem. You know what it is? I don't want to skip count by 42s to 400. So I made a mistake here. What am I going to have to skip count by? 40. 40s or 4s. That's okay. I can change it midway. Stop tapping, please. Okay. So which number is closest to 400? Oh, my goodness. I have to keep going. Which number is closest to 400? 400. 4 times 10, right? Problem. I can't write a 10 up here. My rules say that it has to be 9 or less on top of the doghouse. So should I just try a 9? Let's try a 9. So I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to do 42 times 9. Now here's what some kids did. Put your pencil down for a minute. Literally, this is what they did. Watch. Put your pencil down, because I don't want you to write this. Here's what they did. They went, okay, I'm going to try a 9, so that's going to be 360. What did I do wrong? I didn't guess and check. Who said that? Eduardo, good. I didn't guess and check. That's going to give me a wrong answer. Okay, so now let's do the actual. Okay, what do we have? 378. 378. Did the 9 work? Mm -hmm. Don't forget to put it at the top. Twenty-two? Okay. Mm -hmm. Is twenty-two less than forty-two? Yes. Okay. So what will I write on top when I multiply this out to check it? Which number goes on top? Do you remember? The 42. The divisor goes on top. So 42 times 19. Okay, go ahead and multiply that out. The 
The thing I like about this, look, boys and girls, here's a 378, and here's a 378. So I know I'm doing this thing right. Here's a 42, here's a 42. When I add my remainder, I ended up with 820. Now, if yours doesn't match this, that's okay. Go through and figure out what you did wrong. I'm going to pause it for a minute. Okay, let's switch over to the problem set. That was the homework. And I want to do the first problem. I think. What's the divisor? Okay, yeah, let's do the first problem. Actually, sorry, I want to do C. Okay, and I've got my three columns in my head. I'm not going to draw them on here right now, okay? But I've got estimate, solve, check with multiplication, and guess and check. All right, so I'm going to do 940 divided by 28. And what am I going to round 28 to? 30. 30. Okay? And I'm going to skip count by threes. Now before I do that, I skipped a step, Bella. Do you know what it is? <coughs> got to check the first two numbers, don't I? Is 94 large enough to make 28 groups out of? Totally. Okay. Okay. And I'm going to need, wrong color blue, and I'm going to need two estimate lines. I'll have to write one of them up here. Okay. All right. So, so we're going to start with which number? 90? Okay. So that means 90 divided by, 9 divided by 3 is, so I'm going to try a 3. Where do I try the three? Guess and check. Everybody say it. Guess and check. Did it work? Is 84 going to work okay? Okay. And you remember we write the three above the four because we put the box around it. Is 10 less than 28? Yes. So bring down my zero. Now this has me thinking. Could I go up one more and get closer to 100? Yes. Let's try. So I'm going to do 28 times 4 just to make sure it doesn't work. It's too large, isn't it? Okay, so, like I think Logan said, we're going to have to use the 3 again. So the work's already done for us. It's right here. That's why I like this. Guess and check. Because I'm going to use that 3 again. And what was 28 times 3? 84. And 100 minus 84 is 16. Now, if it helps you to do this, make that a 10 and try cross it off, make it a 9, make that a 10. You can. But 16 is my remainder. Okay. So now, when I check with multiplication, what am I going to need to do? What kind of multiplication is this? Turtle head. Okay, you check it with multiplication. Try not to copy mine. I'm guessing you're going to get some 84s in there. What do you think?
Okay, now check yours with mine. I'm going to pause it while you study it to see how you did. Okay, so let's move on. I want to turn the page, turn to the second page, and letter F. This one's important that we do because it's going to help us on our exit ticket. So put a star beside the F. It's going to help us on the exit ticket. And I'm actually going to write the problem up here, I think. Give myself plenty of room. Now, this is not about the divisor. The divisor is very easy on this one, isn't it? Okay. This problem is about the quotient. What's the quotient? No. What's the quotient? We don't know it yet, but where does it go? It goes on top of the doghouse, right? It's the answer. Okay, so the reason I'm doing this with you is because of the quotient. Okay, are we going to need two lines here for estimating? Well, let's check. Is 61 going to work? Yeah. Yes. So I'm going to need two lines. What should I skip count by? 15. I agree. So I'm going to get that on both of those lines. And I don't have to skip count very far, do I? For now, I can stop at 60. Okay, and it, it's okay. It doesn't matter where you stop, but we're going to try a 60, correct? So what will I write in my guess and check? Four. And you don't have to, unless you don't trust your ability to skip count by... 15th. Are you with me? Okay. So 15 times 4 was 60. And that gives me a 1. Okay, are you with me? Yeah. All right. So now is 1 less than 15. Yes. Bring down my 4. So what number over to the side is closest to 14 without going over? Zero. Zero. So that means zero goes on top. Okay? And on Zern, you're going to see this. Do I think that's necessary? No. no. But if it helps you, do it. Okay? And so my remainder, is my remainder less than my divisor? Yeah. Okay, so this should work. Why do you think I did this problem with you, boys and girls? No. Come on, think about it. Which which one of the which one of these numbers, four or zero, do you think you're going to have on the exit ticket? Zero. So this was a reminder of what to do if you bring down a number and it's not large enough. Okay, how am I going to uh, check this with multiplication? 15 times 40? Stay with me here. There's no reason to do turtle head. Can't I just do 15 times 4? What's that? And then what do I add to the end? And then add my remainder, right? And what do I get? Okay. Now, one of them on your exit ticket is going to have a zero in the quotient. This is a reminder on how to do it. Right now, you're going to work on the problems we didn't do with a partner, and then we'll go over the exit ticket in a minute. If you're at home, you work on the problems we didn't do by yourself. Okay, boys and girls, on this exit ticket, I've got it set up and ready to go. And then... Together, we're going to decide what we'll skip count by and what we'll round it to, okay? So if you could get all this written down and then look up here, we'll start. So on the first one, my divisor is 19. First of all, Mrs. Lewis, don't get ahead of yourself. Can I use the 41 here? Yes. And what about the 70 here? Yes. Yeah, I can. Actually, that one's really close, isn't it? Okay, let's start with the first one. So 19 rounds to 
Okay. So I'm going to skip count by. I'm just going to stop there. I really don't know how high I'm going to have to go, but I'm going to stop there. So you think it's 19 times 2? Okay, so over in my guess and check, what will I write? Okay, that's where the, your help stops on this one. Now put your pencil down when you get that much written, and let's look at the next one. Okay, don't keep going and multiply that out, please. Okay, so on this one, what am I going to round the 67 to? Okay, so that means I'll skip count by what? Sevens, right? I'm not going to go very far. So Bella says try a one. You agree? Huh? Yeah. Okay, so once I do that, I've got a couple choices. Look up here. I can just do 1 times 67, or I can actually write it down if that helps. Okay? Any questions? You think you can handle this? Okay. Do your very best. Bring it to me when you're finished. 